Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hide, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion. Yo, host of Hide, and welcome back to the Baseball Hut 2. Hopefully you like this video and hit that subscribe button. So I'm going to give you a whole bunch of like, Major League Baseball trade rumors, a potpourri of different uh, rumors for you. And uh, we're going to start with the New York Yankees. You know, the three stooges of Aaron, Hal, and, and Brian. That's from the Bleach Report. MLB trade rumors. Yankees not, in, not that into Garrett Crochet amid Orioles, Padres, Buzz. Let's see what this, ha this has to say. The New York Yankees are reportedly not as interested in Chicago White Sox starting pitcher Garrett Crochet compared to his other potential suitors. According to John Heyman in the New York Post, one person he spoke with said the Yankees are not that into Crochet. Well, who would be one? Maybe into Ding. Maybe the sewing, maybe not crocheting. Heyman noted that the Los Angeles Dodgers, San Diego Padres, and the Baltimore Orioles have also been linked to the 25 year old. With the White Sox sitting at 27 and 71, crochet could be moved ahead of the July 30th trade deadline. I would say about Garrett Crochet, um, I would say let the buyer beware with him. Uh, he comes across to me as a guy that uh, could get hurt again. If not this year, but next year. You have to be very, very careful with him. He's been a reliever in his short career. And uh, he's just been starting this year. He's going to be on an innings limit. Uh, is it worth bringing a guy that's going to be in your bullpen and he's going to start her? You want a starter that's going to finish out the season. The more innings you get at him, the better off you'll be. But if he's got an innings limit, kind of, I think that's kind of how the Yankees look at it. Chicago's asking price could be too much for the New York general manager, Brian Cashman. USA Today's Bob Nightingale reported on Sunday that the White Sox are insisting on Yankees outfield prospect Spencer Jones and any deal for Crochet. That appears to be more than New York is willing to give up, as Jones was listed as the number 75 overall player in Bleach Report's latest MLB prospect rankings. The Yankees may not be as desperate for starting pitchers compared to the other interested teams as they own the fifth best ERA among starters in the majors. Opposing bats are also hitting just 228 against them, the third best mark among all teams. Still, Crochet is in the midst of an impressive 2024 campaign and recently appeared in the first All Star game of his career. In 20 starts, he amassed a 6 6 record and a 3.02 ERA. Crochet has also racked up an incredible 150 strikeouts compared to just 23 walks and 107 and one-third innings of work. The lefty is also on an enticing contract for potential trade partners as he is still under team control during the next three seasons, according to SportTrack. Baltimore appears to be interested as the, team, as the team battles with New York at the top of the AOE standings, while San Diego is looking to remain competitive in the National League wildcard race and could use Crochet at the top of the team's rotation. Although the Yankees' interest in Crochet appears to be waning, he should have several other suitors prior to the deadline. The Dodgers would be interested in possibly the Mets. Uh, but really, Baltimore is in the catbird seat. Do you understand that meaning? Uh, they have such a deep farm system. They have an entire like all-star team in AAA just sitting there ready to play for somebody. Either for Baltimore or for any other team. I would mention, they have the best prospect in baseball, and Jackson Holiday sitting there. So they could they can entice the, the, the White Sox or any team for a big player with Jackson Holiday. Because Jackson Holiday, he has, he's 20 years old, he, or 21 years old, he's not playing in the majors. And he had a bit of a, a, a time here this year. But he's just sitting there, he could be playing shortstop for some bad team um, and getting his lumps in. And they could certainly use a franchise player like him. Just using that as a suggestion, that's the one thing that the, the Orioles have a, a, above everybody else here, is they have the one elite, I mean, real, could be an all-time player in Jackson Holiday. And that is something you can't, like, sneeze at. That's for sure. Now, here's from the American League Central, one of the most interesting uh, divisions in Major League Baseball, the American League Central. That might be the least uh, interesting league, interesting division in baseball is the American League Central. What we'll wonderfully exciting teams. Well, one of those teams is the Minnesota Twins. 
This is from CBSSports.com. MLB trade deadline rumor. Twins eye starting pitching help. Rays prepared to list the offers for top hitters. Well, there's another, another team, another franchise that's very, very uh, exciting. Here's your rumor roundup for Thursday, July 18th. Now, of course, uh, please uh, subscribe. I'm not hating on any team. I just think some of this stuff is funny. So I'll, I'll bring up stuff that I think is amusing. Even if it makes myself laugh, that's all that matters. 2024 MLB trade deadline is a mere 11 days away. With the amateur draft concluded, front offs are now shifting into deadline mode. So expect the trades and rumors and the unexpected to pick up soon. Here's the latest from the trader, the trade rumor mill. Rays willing to take calls on top bats. The Rays are willing to listen to offers of their top hitters, Randy Rosarena, Yandy Diaz, and Isaac Paris in the right deal. Reports MLB.com. Paredes Tampa's all-star representative may be most likely to be to go because there are few quality third basemen available. And top prospect Junior Caminera is knocking on the door and ready to take over at the hot corner. Arizona, Ar 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 Rosarina and Diaz have both been have picked it up at the plate the last few weeks at the sluggish starts of the season. <clears throat> Excuse me, Diaz is signed to 2025. With an option for 26. Rosarena is under team control through 26 and Paris through 2027. Rays are willing to trade anyone at this at any time, so it's no surprise they're willing to listen on these on these. The Minnesota Twins. They're interested in rental starting pitchers. To give for a second half postseason push, the Twins are interested in adding a rental starting pitcher, according to the Athletic. They have mostly targeted stars with multiple years of control the last few years, such as Sonny Gray. Pablo Lopez, Tyler Molly, and Joe Ryan. A two-month rental would be a departure from their usual MO. We ranked only one rental starter among our top 30 trade candidates, Tigers, righty, Jack Flaherty. Rangers righty, Nathan Evaldi could be a rental, though. He'll gain a $20 million player option at 25 with another 62 inch pitch since 2024. Other possible rental starters include Pirates lefty Marco Gonzalez, Rangers lefty Andrew Haney and Rangers righty Michael Lorenzen. Uh, a little like cleanup of a little a little move here. Uh, the White Sox designated for assignment uh, Martin Maldonado, who's been in the catcher. Keep an eye on him. Maybe the Yankees pick him up. Um, Garrett Cole, Jerry Cole, Jerry Cole, Jerry Cole, Jerry Curl uh, loves pitching to. Um, Maldonado. So that's something to keep an eye on. Maybe the Yankees pick him up as another uh, guy to, to be behind the, the plate, but they don't, they're not getting a lot of help behind the plate with the, the White Sox. So maybe they might be interested in Maldonado at some point. And finally, in this video from the Sporting News. Well, I don't think I've done a video with the Sporting News as a reference. Uh, I feel like oh, I feel all official now as a, as, a, as a baseball channel. MLB trade de deadline deals Unlikely to include the Detroit Tigers ace, Tariq Skubal. I mentioned his name because guy didn't mention his name. But Mad Dog Russo had uh, the subject of him on his program on the MLB network. And he kept calling him Scrooble. Not Scrooble, Scrooble. What the hell is wrong with that guy? Can you get a name, a person's name right? Especially a name that's an easy name to figure out. I know I'm the last person to be talking about it. For, you know, pronouncing different names, but Jesus, it's Scooble. There's no R in his name except for the first name. Anyway, I saw that earlier on Friday. And I was like, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with him? Can't get a name right. Detroit Tigers may have a chance to cash in on the budding star at the MLB trade deadline, but that scenario seems unlikely. Holding a 47 50 record coming out of the All Star break, the Tigers have been surging with an 8 2 record in their last 10 games. Well, some teams might be willing to send their crop of unbelievable talent and potential trade for Cy Young favorite Tariq Skubal. <clears throat> the likelihood of it happening is slim and none. Maybe they could trade a Tariq Skubal. Uh, both Bob Nightingale of USA Today and John Hamm of the Post have shot down the notion that the Tigers are trading Skubal at the deadline. Quote, enough with the silly Tariq Skubal trade rumors. The Detroit Tigers are not trading him. Nightingale wrote, 
The Yale Cy Young favorite would seem very unlikely to be dealt since the Tigers are showing improvement and have two more years to go before free agency with their best player. But many teams will ask, trade chances very low. That's for uh, Tariq uh, Scruble. If the Tigers were in a similar position to the White Sox, <clears throat> things might be different. Detroit then would maybe be more open to trading the Cy Young favor. I would mention the Tigers, they're mediocre and they're boring too. The White Sox are bad and they're boring. All the teams in the American League Central are boring. <clears throat> Even the Guardians for that matter. However, they find themselves seven games behind the Red Sox for the final wildcard spot. It's a tall task, sure, but not impossible Not impossible with a strong second-half run. The other factor here is team control. Scuba has been pretty dominant over the last two seasons when he's on the mound. Since the start of the 2023 season, Scuba is 17-6 and six with a 2.57 ERA and 242 strikeouts at 196 in the third innings. So while some teams are hoping to put together a package enticing enough to lure Scuba away from the Tigers, the chances of it happening seem very low. And I saw this rumor earlier today. This again, Jackson Holiday would certainly get Tariq Scuba from the Tigers. The Tigers are desperate. Another team desperate for an identity. Desperate for a big prospect. Desperate for a big player that could transform that club. Jackson Holiday would be the perfect player to go there because not only is he a big name with the prospects, but also, you know, with his father, you know, being his, uh, having been in the major leagues. And the fact that the Tigers are one of these teams that desperately needs a big player. He would be perfect, absolutely, positively perfect for the Tigers. Whether the Tigers want to move him, is probably they probably, you know, in a spot right now, uh, three games under 500, they probably want to get about 500 the first time in a while. That might be a goal for the for the for ownership and for the uh, front office. But that I'd be very, very uh, enticed. If the Orioles came to me and said, I, I want to trade uh, Jackson Holiday for him, I would certainly consider it. And if you're smart, you would consider it. Well, let me know what you think about this video. And of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut 2. And I'll see you later.